Yo, what is going on everybody? I'm Steezy and thank you for checking out today's video. We have got another episode of What the Fuck. And this time, it's kind of based off of my very first What the Fuck video, where we're looking at numbers to kind of decide some things. And this, as you can tell by the title, is we are going to be picking out the predictions, my predictions, the smart predictions for um, the Los Angeles homestand. And... Yeah, I, we're basing this off of numbers and my opinion. Of course, my opinion is based off of numbers. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get into it. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for the support on the other two videos in the series. I definitely appreciate it. Um, okay, so here's the thing. We are talking about predictions, and most of the time when people make predictions on anything, they're going in... I shouldn't say most of the time. There's a large amount of people who will base their predictions off of um, their favorites. Now, I have all three of my favorite teams playing this weekend, and you're going to see how I can put my favorite teams, the fact they're my favorite teams, to the side and literally pick my predictions off of numbers alone because that's the most probable. You look at the fact, you look at the past to um, see the trends, and you you select your predictions based off of those trends. Whatever. Anyways, so let's look at it. I took the um, the groups from Atlanta, or Atlanta, from Los Angeles, put them over here in this nice fancy ass looking Excel spreadsheet, <laughs> and then I took the numbers for the CDL standings, the win loss, and the game win loss ratios from actually my Excel sheet that I had already made based off of information on the Call of Duty League website, which of course, link in the description if I recall, if I remember, um, if not literally calldutyleague.com. So we have all the teams here in their groups. We have their CDL standings, their current match win loss, and their current game win loss. And this is what we're basing it off of today. So let's just go ahead and look at this information before we see who pairs or who faces off first, and then we'll, we'll just go from there. So in Group A, we have the Gorillas, the Rocker, uh, Optic Gaming, and Seattle Surge. The most, uh, I guess the highest ranked up here is Minnesota Rocker, and they are absolutely super solid. Um, in my first video, I was talking about how I think that they are, well, I didn't think this, but it's been said that they are the best team However, they are lacking an X factor, and that's why uh, teams like Atlanta Faze and Chicago Huntsman are so above the of teams like this is because they know how to play the game, but they also have those X factors like Envoy, who can just go off at any point and literally change um, a match and change the series. So they are fantastic. They're probably one of the best teams. They are the best, one of the best teams, top four, obviously. Um, so I don't think they're going to struggle making out of pools. Uh, the the real concern, not concern, is the real question is, I guess, is Seattle Surge and Los Angeles Girls a lot on the Gorillas because Seattle Surge has made a um, team change. They benched Enable, um, you know, understandably, and Enable admits to, you know, lacking a lot of uh, passion right now. Um, so they benched him and they, they brought up, is that the word? They're one of their bench players in Pander. And I don't know how their scrims have been going. It's probably hit and miss because it's, you know, he's expected to play on a team that he just got put on and now he's playing against other top ranked pro teams. So it's a question mark on where that's going to be. Now the bigger, again, the bigger question is the Gorillas because their rumored roster right now, their starting roster, um, is two of the original starting and three other players. One that was already on the bench, and two that they just signed. Um, two top AM players, and then again, one from the bench. So their whole team is, the majority of their team is new. And that's, I don't know, you it can't really, I don't know, make a decision based off of that. Other than, I don't know, that information, I suppose, and where they were at before. Um, and then to round it out, we have Opti Gaming, Los Angeles, and they are sitting with zero... Um, was this right? They haven't won any matches, so they don't have... No, that makes sense. Doesn't it? I don't remember. That, that can't be right. That's got to be 0%, right? I was probably looking at someone else. I know that this is 0%. We're editing this on the fly. I love it. They have not won a single match yet, so... The, oh, uh, shit. I'm so stupid. Okay, here. Yes, that makes more sense. Yes, they have not won yet, and their game win-loss is 20%. Again, they are playing teams close, so that's... 
great, and I think that's going to be their advantage in this, is that they were playing teams close, and they have not made a roster change. So their chemistry, throwing that one out there loosely, is still there from when they formed this team in the beginning. And I think that will give them a slight edge over at least Gorillas, which is damn near a whole brand new team. So they end up playing each other first. We'll get it. We'll get into that. So in my opinion, who's making it out of this right away, just based on this information, is definitely Minnesota. They're not going to struggle at all. And then there's a huge question mark on Gorillas. Seattle Surge, I don't think Panda's going to solve the problems. But Optic Gaming is sticking around. And I said, I'm not going to let my bias show in this. So I'm going to go with Surge. I think based on this information and the things I just said, making it out of groups is going to be Minnesota Rocker and Seattle Surge. So there's that. All right, Group B. This is just nuts. Um, Atlanta Faze, my second favorite team. Dallas Empire, my first favorite team. Florida Mutineers and the New York Subliners. Um, Faze is making it out without a doubt. Without an absolute doubt at all. Uh, the next team that you would consider just based off the CDL standings would be the Florida Mutineers. But I think, I think, um, I'm not, okay, I'll skip that point. What we, what I want to talk about in this group particularly is the subliners have made a roster change. They have benched um, Zero, which is crazy, and picked up Happy, which is irrelevant, irrelevant as fuck. Um, he's not been good ever, and he's not been in the scene for years. So that's stupid as shit, in my opinion. I hope New York suffers greatly. So I'm automatically making them lose to all these three. These three are the only ones in question right now. These are the great ones. Faze is making it out. So I guess in my my uh, thought process here, Dallas Empire versus Florida Mutineers. They're pretty close in the standings. They're only separated by one. Well, I guess, I mean, there's one in between them. Um... But they were they're in the middle bubble teams, so they can um, they can go up or down pretty easily. I it's so hard. It's just like like it's just like the old optic rosters. Like you can't the hell you can't ever count op, the old optic out because of the star power on the team. Um, so I'm kind of gonna go that way. Actually, actually, the day I'm recording this video. Dallas announced that Rambo Ray, the legend, is the coach of the Empire now. So that alone, I'm saying Dallas. Dallas and Faze make it out. And I'm not saying that again because I am a fan of the Empire and Faze. Faze is the clear cut. They're coming out no matter what. Empire versus Florida Mutineers, assuming that was the matchup. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Um, but Dallas Empire has Clayster, one of the goatiest of, of them all. Trim Six, another absolute fucking legend, and Hook, who is Hook the Nuke for a reason, Illy and Shotzi. Those are the only two question marks in anybody's head, really, it should be. And if you've got somebody like Rambo Ray giving them, like, direction, boom! I really think that's going to turn this team around, so I'm glad I thought of that. Yep, no-brainer. Those two are going to make it out, and I think it's going to be pretty damn easy for them. So let's go ahead and, before I go ahead and give my who I think the actual placings are going to be. I want to look at the website and see the matches. So right now, Atlanta Faze versus Florida Mutineers is the very first game. That one's going to be an easy one. Atlanta Faze is going to take it. This is just a rematch of Atlanta Finals and Atlanta 3-0'd them. So that's that's easy. Uh, Rocker versus Seattle. Uh, I had Rocker no problem coming out of this. So that one change in the lineup for Seattle is not enough to make a difference so rocker's gonna take that one pretty easily um dallas empire has a new coach so he's gonna he's gonna mold those youngins uh and make them fantastic or at least i don't know even them out or something and of course you heard me talk about the new york subliners i think they're absolutely off the rocker for dropping trey and picking up happy like what the fuck <laughs> Uh, slight pun intended. Um, but yeah, that's. I think that's going to be a pretty 3-1 maybe at the most. But yeah, Dallas is going to make it out for sure, at least this way. And then the real question that I'm kind of torn against is this one right here. The Gorillas versus Optic. So <clears throat> the Gorillas, again, is almost a whole new team. It essentially is a whole new team. And then Optic is the same team, but the same team sucks. I don't know. I don't know. 
I said before that I kind of hope Optic loses just so that they are forced to make a change. But I hate saying that. I hate saying I want my team to lose, you know what I mean? Okay, so here's where we're going to go with it. I th I'm pretty sure the two AMs that, they, uh, that the girls picked up were from the, the one, of, one of the top three AM teams. If not the one that just won, I don't quote me on that one. So they've got the, some of the best AMs on the team, according to their stat lines. That's an asterisk right there. Um, they're leaving in Aqua. Who was it? Aqua. They had Decimate. Yeah, Aqua and Decimate. Then they brought up Blast, which I like Blast, and then the two new AMs. So I guess the question is, can their, their power give them decent chemistry enough to beat Optic at least? God, Optic is such a fucking... Here's, here, okay, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. This is based off of numbers too. Optic Gaming is coming out, the winner. And that's going to be because... Two things. The star power on this team is, again, like sleepers. You can never count out the old optic because of the star power on the team. At some point, somebody's going to have to start doing better, and when they do, they're going to win. They played every team except for one map off of Chicago Huntsman close. Like, really close. It was almost a flip of a coin on all of their matches. Um, so I'm going, I'm going Los Angeles Grills, 100%. That's to, to lose. Let me rephrase that. A <laughs> Los Angeles Gorillas to lose. So, yeah, um, that's where I've got those. Where they fall after that, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I could guess the, how the bracket's going to come out, but I don't think it's... I don't think I'll be right, so we're just going to exit out of that. So here's what we're going to do. The last two spots are the people that are not making it out of... We'll just go the last four are not making it two championships Sunday or what what the hell ever you want to call it. I don't know, but these will be the easy ones. Um, so fifth through eight in no particular order is going to be the Gorillas. I don't think they're going to have it together in time. Uh, subliners for sure. Um, I'm just going to pick the other team that I don't think is going to come out, and that's going to be Optic. Whoops, got to spell it right, bro. Optic Gaming I don't think is going to make it out be just because Seattle Surge I think is going to do decent which is apparently enough to beat Optic. And then the last one is going to be, I don't think the Mutineers are going to make it out. So that's our bottom. So now we're going from hmm, top four. Where do I think the top four are going to be? I think I know who's going to win. I have confidence I know who's going to win, but I'm not going to put that down yet. I'm pretty confident who I know is going to go in second. So we're looking at third and fourth. Fourth is going to be Surge. There's no doubt about that. Third is going to be the Rocker. This is actually super easy. Second is going to be the Empire. I think they're going to be coming. I think they're going to show a hell of a good improvement um, with promise. So, like, they, they've improved. They've shown you that they're learning. And they're also going to show that they understand they're going to, they're going to get better from this, too. Uh, which brings the winner to FaZe. That's it. That's it right there. Put that in the books. This is based off of numbers. This is based off of opinion, which is based off of numbers and all the recent activity that's been made on these teams. So put that in the books. Uh, come back here. Let me know when I was wrong. You're not coming back to this video. Guaranteed, because this is going to be damn near spot on. So I don't know. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below letting me know if you're close to what I'm putting up here and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an episode of what the fuck because this is just i'm having a blast recording these so i hope you're enjoying them but i don't know so anyways i'll catch you in the next one peace